Good news, everybody. Today we're going to play a game. The game is called Closure. It's my favorite game. You're going to love it. Wait till you see how it works. I'm giving you two numbers here, a one and a zero. And I'm going to tell you that you can do anything you want to these two numbers. You can add them, subtract them, multiply them, divide them, and your answer is always going to be one of those two numbers. Your mission is to prove me wrong. Show me that, well, sometimes we get an answer that's not one of those two numbers. Let's take a look. Zero plus zero equals zero. Yeah, I can use the same card twice. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. What's that? One plus one? One plus one is two. Two is not one of my choices, is it? Well, it looks like it didn't work under addition. It looks like you won that round. But let's try another one. Let's try subtraction. Let's use these numbers. Zero minus zero is zero. One minus one is zero. Zero minus one, oh, that's negative one. That doesn't work, that's not in here. Well, it looks like you won that round too. How about multiplication? Zero times zero, zero. One times one, one. One times zero, zero. Hey, the answer was always in here. I won that round. We call it when that round wins, we call it closed. We say that the set is closed under multiplication. I won that one. How about division? One divided by one is one. One divided by zero, wait a minute, you can't divide by zero. It's undefined. And there's not a card that says undefined. So it looks like you won that one too. You won three times, I won once. When you find the example that makes it not work, we say that the set is not closed, meaning that the answer is somewhere outside of our group of numbers. When the answer is in here, always, we say that it's closed. In other words, our answer never came from somewhere else. Now, isn't this a great game? I thought you'd like it. But wouldn't it be more exciting if we had a bigger set of numbers? You're in luck. Take a look at this. Here I have the set of even integers. For example, negative 10, negative 8, negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The even integers. Let's add some together. Let's find that example that doesn't work. Negative 6 and negative 4, negative 10. That one's good. Negative 2 and 2, 0. That one works. 6 and negative 2, 4, that one works. 6 and 6, 12, that one works. It looks like I can't find that example. It looks like this round goes to me because the answer was always up in there. Let's try subtraction. Let's see if we can figure one out there. Negative 4 minus negative 2, that's negative 2. It's there. 2 minus 0 is 2. 4 minus 4, 0. 6 minus 4, 2. It looks like they're always in there. It looks like I win another round. How about multiplication? 4 times 2 is 8. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 0, 0. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. Negative 4 times positive 4, negative 16. They're all even integers. It looks like it's closed under multiplication. I've won three times now. Now let's try division. Maybe I can get a perfect score. How about, oh, two divided by four. Two divided by four is one half. And one half is not in there. So when I have the example two divided by four, it reduces to one half. And that number's not in the set, so it looks like it's not closed in division. But it's closed everywhere else. I won three times this round. You caught me once. Should we try another set? 
Let's do it. I happen to like the um, even integers, so why don't we look at the positive even integers this time, and let's see what's going on there. Addition, can you find any numbers that when you add together, you get something that's from the outside? 4 and 6, 10. 8 and 2, 10. 2 and 4, 6. They look good. What about subtraction? 6 minus 4 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. 8 minus 2 is, oh, 8 minus 2, 4. Oh, no, 6. 8 minus 2 is 6. I can't subtract today. I'm too excited about the game. What about 6 minus 8? Negative 2. 6 minus 8 is negative 2, and that's not in the set, so it's not closed under subtraction. You found one example that didn't work. Multiplication, they're always in there. Division, again, not closed. We could do 2 divided by 4, that's 1 half. There's no 1 half in there. By the way, you know those examples you found that didn't work? They have a name. The examples that don't work are called counterexamples. So really, when you prove me wrong, you're looking for one counterexample. All it takes is one to show that the set is not closed.